Hello and welcome to Toyota Sports Tonight. The Perth Wildcats have created history, winning a record fifth NBL championship. The Cats running out 24-point winners in the third and final match of the grand final series against Wollongong last night. The Perth Wildcats become the most successful team in NBL history. A season full of blood, sweat and tears topped off the best way possible. The Wildcats champions for 2010, ending a decade-long drought at the top. People ask how you feel, well, it's a really hard emotion to describe. You know, there's, there's relief, there's, I'm overawed by it as well. This is a special moment for, for all of us and, and especially uh, I think for myself and Brad Robbins who have been here through that, that four or five year stretch. It was a rumble in the jungle as Martin Catalini spiced things up in the opening quarter. It's on here in the corner. The Hawks weren't rattled as they opened up an 11-point buffer, but the Wildcats weren't done with yet, suffocating Wollongong in defence. Martin's had it knocked away. Robbins in the open court. Down by one at the half, the big game player Kevin Lish stepped up to the plate. A two-minute burst from the Wildcats, putting on 14 unanswered points. The up fake. Oh, my. Oh, my. The Americans stealing the show with a three-quarter time buzzer beater. Didn't panic. Oh, it's in. He's ripped it in. It counts. His scintillating season high, 29 points, earning him the grand final's most valuable player. The Cats now under pressure to re-sign the import for next season. I mean, next week's going to be a busy week. Uh, there's no doubt we want to try and lock in as many of our players within the next week for sure. I think we should just enjoy this and then we'll, <laughs> you know, we'll talk about all that. So are you trying to tell me something? You? <laughs> <laughs> It was a fairy tale ending for veteran Martin Catalini, retiring after 452 NBL games. Getting four championships and in my last game, getting one on my hometown, couldn't be happier, mate. Tim Hipsley for Sports Tonight.